Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tip. Today we're taking a look at removing a background using the Color Transparency tool. We'll take a look at a couple of examples and show you which one the tool works really well for and which ones the tool doesn't work so well for. So for example in this landscape we have a very nice foreground in a brown tan color and then the background is obviously the blue sky and you can see that it's a bit of a fade from a darker blue to a little bit lighter blue. So the first thing you want to do is click on that and launch Edit Bitmap. This of course brings up Photo Paint and we need to make sure that we have the background selected so that when we delete the background color we have a transparent background and not white. Object Create from Background and you can see over here in the Object Manager that it is highlighted so we are ready to go. The tool that we're looking for is the Color Transparency tool, and it's over here in this little drop-down. If you haven't selected it, go ahead and select Color Transparency. The couple of things that you can do to adjust what you're selecting is the Tolerance, which is the range of color from where you've selected what will be accepted and selected along with it, and also obviously where you start your selection process. So if I leave it as a tolerance of 10 and I select right here in the middle, I get a pretty good swath of color selected. But as you can see, the lighter color here in the corner isn't selected all the way up through this section here. Now I could simply keep selecting the different areas of blue and then zoom in, make sure I select you know more blue. And you can do that throughout and you can get a pretty good effect by doing that. But let's take a look at what happens when we play with the tolerance level. Okay, so we're going to start again. I'm going to bump this up to, say, 30. And I'm going to go ahead and select the same area of blue. You can see that that first selection took quite a bit more of the blue. But you'll notice it also seems to have taken some of the other colors as well. And again, that's because the computer is evaluating the difference in color from what you've selected using the tolerance level. So you have to play with that to get it just right. And here's a little secondary tip. I've just done a control Z to undo so that I can play with it a little bit and show you again. Now what this has done, if you'll notice here in the object manager, is that it's deselected my layer. So I need to do object create from background once again. Highlights this again so that when I delete this it'll be transparent and not white. So I'm going to set this at say 20 select again from the same area and you'll notice that I've got blue but the brown and tans are still intact so I'm okay there and I got a little bit more blue than the first time so that's fairly acceptable I can collect this section here and all of a sudden from the outside all of my blue is gone now of course as you zoom in you can still see some remnants and you can continue clicking those to remove more and more of the blue The other option is to use something like the eraser tool to do the final cleanup. And so you can come in here and you can polish up the edges from being this more jaggedy look. Using the eraser tool, you can then uh, sort of, again, finish it off something a little bit more smoother. If I click that, I'll just give you a quick example. Bring that down, and then as I move along, you can see that the edge fades a little bit better. It's not so bad. It just kind of depends upon what you're working on, what your project is, if you need to do that or not. That's the simple way to use the color tool from a fairly simple and straightforward image. Now let's take a look at this second image. This one, again, is pretty straightforward from the color viewpoint, but it's less straightforward depending upon the design that you're looking to do with the, with the image. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click Edit Bitmap. I'm going to make sure that I have it selected. The background is selected highlighted here. And this again, the same sort of style applies in terms of if you're going to use the color transparency, you know, what's your tolerance level and where are you clicking? So that that same thing applies. Now the key thing to remember with the color transparency, it's that it's going to select everything of that color. So if what you really wanted in an image like this one was just this top section removed for some reason, or just this center section removed for some reason, the color transparency might not be the best selection because as I select it, not only is it removing it from this upper area, it's removing it from in between these slats 
and in the center section here. Again, collect, keep clicking, and I am able to select more and more of the blues, in this case, uh, off of the image. Now again, you get into this situation where you have a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. If I select this, I might be taking too many of the leaves. So you can play with the tolerance level or use the eraser tool to do some final cleanup if you need to. Okay, and here's an example of an image where using the color transparency tool probably isn't your best choice. So here's a, a standard kind of portrait. And, you know, photographers like to be pretty fancy and they like to match colors uh, with the various objects in the photograph, including uh, the subject's clothing oftentimes. You know, I'll get an image for a business card and they'll kind of match the coat with the background and it all looks very nice in a photograph, but it makes it much more difficult to remove the background. So in this case, I've got the tolerance. I set it down to say 10 as an example. And if I select even, you know, a brown back here, you know, it's just simply taking too much of the image because the way that this photograph was done, uh, everything is is simply too close. And you could dial this down and try to do it. But you know, here I'm just there's just too much of the hair being taken, the chair being taken, uh, pants. You know, again, if you had a shirt that was a similar color, it would also be selected as well. So this is an example of an image where the color transparency is not such a good idea. Thanks for watching this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tip of removing your background using the color transparency tool.